Start the sweeper and lower the pickup broom. Turn the sweeper off. Go to the left side of the sweeper and remove the three core stud nuts. Swing the broom motor assembly towards yourself to separate it from the broom core. Remove the left broom fiber guard from the broom core. Go to the right side of the sweeper and remove the shackle from the right broom lift arm. Remove the three mounting bolts holding the right dirt shoe assembly connected to the elevator side plate assembly and remove the dirt shoe assembly from the sweeper. Remove the three broom bearing plate assembly mounting bolts. The pickup broom will be free of the sweeper at this point. Remove the link lift bolt. Remove the two bolts holding the elevator side plate assembly and remove the elevator side plate assembly from the sweeper. Pull the pickup broom out from under the sweeper. Clean and inspect the elevator belts, sprockets, bottom elevator deflectors, and bottom arch for wear or damage. Remove the three nuts holding the right broom bearing and hub assembly from the broom core. Install the six pickup broom studs on the new pickup broom core, three on each side. Push the new pickup broom under the sweeper. Swing and guide the broom motor assembly back into the pickup broom core and secure the broom to the motor assembly using the three core stud nuts. Install the right elevator side plate assembly back onto the sweeper using the two side plate assembly bolts. Reinstall and tighten the lift link bolt.
Install the right hand broom bearing and hub assembly to the broom core. Reinstall the broom bearing plate assembly to the right broom arm using the three mounting bolts. Making sure that the dirt shoe flap is resting on top of the dirt shoe Reinstall the dirt shoe back onto the elevator side plate assembly using the three mounting bolts. Do not tighten the bolts yet. Reinstall the shackle to the right broom lift arm. Start the sweeper engine and raise the pickup broom. If you have raised, jacked, or ramped the sweeper, and lower the sweeper onto the flat surface. Making sure the pickup broom is lowered and the dirt shoe is lying flat on the ground, tighten the three dirt shoe mounting bolts. Once the pickup broom installation is complete, check the pickup broom strike pattern to make sure the broom has the correct down pressure and no coning.